Richard, your tweets are getting better and better. Welcome everybody, Gaming Mike here, and we're playing No Man's Sky once again. All this black hole talk today, huh? All them black holes, I figure, well, let's go find some. I was thinking, yeah, let's go find some. So we're going to use the tools available to us at blackholesuns.com for charting and tracking black holes in the big wide universe. All the galaxies of No Man's Sky. We are... Gonna go out a black hole in y'all. So thanks for coming along to it. Who's here so fast? Let me just pop open all the windows I need. It's good. Go Pulru. First in the chat, complicated Mike, welcome to it. Great music over on Periscope. Thanks for tuning in. Ramon Morrison, Turbo Life on the Work and Lurk. Oh yeah, John Hall. Welcome aboard. Thanks for subscribing on YouTube. Uh, Richard Huntington in the chat. Turbo Life Richard Huntington, thanks for that Twitter love out there. KJPC Gaming. Oh, we got a sword raid with the noob love. John Hall, welcome to it. Ford Prefect, hello, hello. Isaiah Wilson, thanks for coming over in the sword raid. I was watching Sword myself lurking over there before the stream. Sword is a, another uh, No Man's Sky streamer. He streams the game quite regularly. If you're looking for more No Man's Sky content, can't go wrong with Sword. Sword, thanks for sending them over. I don't know if he's here in the chat just yet. He's probably wrapping up. Is he wrapping up? Be sure to check out his channel. He'll be popping into the chat soon. You'll be able to find it from there. Visit his channel. I need to make a command for Sword. He keeps raiding me. He keeps raiding me. We're doing a regular stream here. It's 11 p.m. Eastern. That's when I go live Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Swords often streaming in the evenings, evenings before me. It's been nice being able to lurk on his streams uh, as I'm getting prepped to do mine. Good stuff. He streams many days, though. He streams many days. Uh, so, oh, this is Tawaii, isn't it? We're back in the old, old normal mode. On the Watahagib. A shuttle. My legacy shuttle, my pre-next shuttle. There he is. There's Sword in the chat. Sword, thanks for sending everybody over. Fantastic of you. Richard's on the Facebook too. Richard is everywhere in all dimensions. Thanks for that support, Richard. <laughs> Goodness. So yeah, all the talk of black holes today. I figure let's go charting some black holes. So we're going to do that tonight. We're going to be back on the black hole highway, but this time we're in the Hilbert dimension, which is sadly lacking in updates on the uh, that there were uh, Black Hole Suns website. Let me sh I'm finding the totals page. Let's put her up there. Let's show her off there. This is blackholesuns.com. I'm down on the totals tab at the bottom. And as you can see, the Hilbert Dimension has a scant how many? Four. The Hilbert Dimension has four black holes, two on PC and two on PS4. I added one of those the other night. I guess somebody else did one too. That's great. That's great. But we're going to be logging black holes here on this website, on this spreadsheet. Hilbert Dimension. Seamus McCrary logging in. We're going to be charting black holes on the black hole highway in the Watahagib. Legacy Fancy Ship. That's tonight. That's what we're doing. So thanks for joining us. 
The uh, black hole research. Why, you ask? Maybe? <laughs> because they're using... There's a tool on that website. Blackholesons.com. Black Hole Suns. It's just like it sounds. No funny spelling. All one word. They've got a... Uh, a distance and route calculator, and I'll show you that in a little bit as well. Um, but you can now plot your way across the galaxies with this black hole tracker. We're plotting black holes, their locations, where they go, uh, where they lead to, so that you can get around the galaxy faster. If you need to get from point A to point B, instead of warping 200 times, you can warp 20 times and take a couple black holes and get there much faster. Especially the Euclid is getting so well mapped. Turbo Life added his first black hole yesterday. That's awesome. Turbo Life, good work. Awesome. Glad to hear it. You have it to save in the Hilbert with your legacy save, Gapuru. Gu Sorry, Gaporu. That's awesome. Are you on uh, PS4? Okay, so. Galaxy map. Where we at? Uh, we're in this uncharted system. I really want to build a base. I want to. I need to build a base down on Tawaii. I was going to build one by that island that I just took off from. Hold up. Hold up. I got to do something really quick. I don't normally do this. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah, this one. Let's reload this autosave. I need to plop down a base computer so I can remember this little island I was standing by. I meant to do it last time, but I didn't do it. And I don't want to fly around looking for that island again because I don't think I'll find it. Ghost Fixer, welcome, welcome. You've been warping to different Atlas stations? Nice, you're on the Atlas path. Good. Uh, John Hall, yeah, yeah. There's a difference between uh, the PlayStation... Xbox and PC have the same uh, outputs, but PlayStation is different from those two. Is that a cylindrical protuberance you see, Ford Prefect? Perhaps. Chaos Control, welcome to it. Yeah, John Hall, I'm wondering if the Beyond update is going to change any of that, too. That's going to be the real thing to watch. I'm very curious what the Beyond update will do to the black holes, if anything. It may not change anything that they're doing now. Maybe it won't. And that would probably be great, but it could. They could go back to random output in the Beyond update. We don't know. We don't know. Uh, it's unknown. Base computer. Okay, I'm gonna plop her down right here on this yellow patch amongst the red patches. Why can't, why won't it let me? Oh, there. Right there? Tawaii. What do we call the first base on Tawaii? I don't even know. Ivy Mike, welcome to it. <laughs> no, Ivy Mike, it's too late. It's too late, Ivy. I I challenged Ivy Mike to a cage match before I started the stream. Oh, who was that? Bev, over on the Facebook. Thanks for the like. Appreciate you. We are streaming to all channels. Don't forget. Mary Lizzie, welcome to it. Thanks for lurking. <laughs> oh. We've been well and fully mic'd, everybody. We got complicated mic. Ivy mic. <laughs> Gaming mic. Mike Young show up yet? Did I miss anybody coming in? Sorry if I missed you. Welcome to all the new viewers joining us. What do we call the first base on to on Tawaii? Honolulu. Tonolulu. Island. No, you know what? This is my secret getaway cabana. This is my cabana. I'm not going to actually build the base tonight. But how do you plan? This is a red star system with one planet. It's this paradise planet. The planet's given name by the game is Tawaii. You can see it. Oh, it just went away. Hold up. The given name. I did not rename this. It's on stream. I uploaded it as it was. This planet's name is Tawaii. So, this is my cabana. <laughs> You can't get to Philly and climb stairs that fast. I know, Ivy, it was very short notice. But Ivy, if you would like to do a cage match later this week, I'm totally down. Isaiah Wilson, thanks for subbing. Welcome to it. 
It's Jumbo. Welcome, welcome. You feeling mic'd? You feeling the mic? Can you feel? No, I don't want to sing it like that. I was going to change Can You Feel the Love tonight, but I'm not going to now because I thought about it. Ow. That hurt. Single lush planet in a red star system too, John Hall? That's awesome. It's Jumbo. We may not see you ever again. Well, I hope everything's okay, man. Wherever life takes you. Wherever you go, there you are. Okay, base is planted. Let's give that a save. Chaos control. Yeah, cage matches, man. So yeah, Ivy Mike, uh, let's do a cage match later this week. I did challenge Ivy Mike before the stream, but it was it was only like 10 minutes before I started streaming. I wasn't quite sure what I was going to play, and then I started thinking about the black holes again after I challenged Ivy Mike and then thought about it some more. Decided let's go black hole in because Ivy hadn't responded within like two or three minutes. <laughs> uh, it's Jumbo, man. I don't know what to tell you. That's not really the kind of thing we need to talk about in the chat. I hope that you can find some help. Somebody to talk to. There you go. Ivy Mike's got the number for you, Jumbo. Get some help. Goodness. Anyway. <laughs> so, we're in the Geknip Gang hub region. Here we are. We did already chart the black hole here, which was... Up this way? No, we came down here for it. There's a black hole in an Atlas station. It was these two. So we've charted that black hole so far on Hilbert. Hey, we go. Welcome to it. Thanks for joining. We changed the rules of the cage matches. Chaos control. No, we did not. We did not. Uh, there's been some talk of some different rules being discussed, but there's we haven't really done the cage matches since Atlas Rises was over. So I don't know. Uh, yeah, pretty much the same rules, though. I was thinking it'd fun to be like make the cage match points not just get to the atlas station but craft the atlas stone for each station to get your points john hall going on the lurk right on they changed cage matches from iron to nanotubes <laughs> yeah we renamed it magnusk noak 18 unruly gex system three planets magnusk noak 18 Let's get to it. This is in the neighboring system to the Geknip Gang Hub. So I think I'll just uh, focus for tonight. We'll just try to get some of the black holes mapped around the Geknip Gang Hub region. That ought to do it. Uh, we go. Yeah, the cage match rules are posted somewhere. They should be in the Geknip Gang Discord. They're probably still pinned in the No Man's Sky channel. Or else, if they're not, you can do a... Uh, a search in the channels. Just search for like cage match rules. You'll probably find the link to the Google Doc. There was a Google Doc that had all the rules, but I don't have the link with me. Actually, try exclamation cage rules in the chat. I might still have a command. Try exclamation cage rules. Magnusk, Noak, three planets, unruly. Oh my goodness. Lava Lamp, welcome to it. Thanks for lurking. Appreciate the lurkers checking in before they go into lurk mode. It's always nice to know that you're out there. <laughs> Pirate fight and hole avoidance. <laughs> Mary Lizzie, a cage match is when two people start a permadeath save at the same time. Um, both contestants stream it so that it's all broadcast so that you can't cheat. And you try to get the furthest. We had a whole point system for hitting certain milestones in the game. And, you know, you hit a milestone, get some points. And the person that survived four hours or 
didn't die, f you know. If somebody dies, they lose, but it was a four-hour match, so at the end of the match, if you're both still alive, it's whoever has the most points. And boy, those were great. There's actually, we've got a YouTube channel with the Gek Nip Gang. Just go to youtube.com slash Gek Nip Gang. Gek Nip like in uh, No Man's Sky here. And um, you can see those cage matches. They were all broadcast with both players on screen at the same time. We were doing multiplayer before people wanted to call the multiplayer multiplayer. <laughs> La Slam, L.A. Slam. Wait, is it L.A. Slam or La Slam? Uh, but welcome to it. Venuto Man, thanks for sending him over. Welcome, welcome, new viewers. Gaporu, there is a link in the description for the Geknip Gang Discord. That's all it takes to join the gang. It's not really a gang. There's no initiation. It's like, uh, you know, Scooby and the gang was a gang. And the Buttercream Gang was a gang. So it's the Geknip Gang. But yeah, link in the description for the Discord. Join us in there. Open to everybody. We got people playing on all platforms. We got people playing more than just No Man's Sky. It's uh, it's a good Discord to be in. Discord is a chat program we use. It's pretty easy to get the hang of once you try it. So, yeah, join us. Join us. Link's in the description, y'all. Oh, and Ivy Mike found the cage match rules. Nice, nice, nice. There's the link from Ivy Mike in the chat on YouTube. Should be relayed to most of the other channels. Yeah, it, they would need some revising because there have been things that changed in the starting sequence. That's right. It does take... It takes more to get on the Atlas path now, doesn't it? Discord is not scary. <laughs> the Poru's in the Discord. Nice. Welcome to it. Welcome to the gang. Now you have to go mug somebody. No, I'm just kidding. Don't do that. That's a joke. I tell you immediately. Oh, wait. I already checked over here. Okay, let's go. We hit the station. We gotta go get coordinates. Look at that little bug. Mamog's airborne lost work. Look at that little bug. Oh, look, B and S class, come on. Oh, it's a B class. Lucent wings. Oh, he's got a different wing set. Look at these little buggy bodies in these shuttles. Ooh. I like the wings on that little shuttle. Mamog's airborne lost work. Oh, that's the same kind, yeah. 22 B class 22 plus 6 wow nice I like the shuttles in this system they're great uh oh we go mug somebody <laughs> Ivy Mike Friday uh, sounds good I think that'll work in fact Ivy do you work that day because I could probably do a daytime cage match Friday reckon reckon I could do a daytime if you can uh oh are we missing alerts there? Are we missing alerts? What did I miss? Complicated mic now, I'm suspicious. Oh, we got a 99 cent from Mary Lizzle. Mary, thanks for that. No, I didn't see the alert for that. There it is. Mary Lizzie, not Lizzle. Mary Lizzie, thanks for that 99 cent super chat. Alright, what are we looking for? Oh, that was a nice hauler. We gotta go get coordinates. These shuttles are just sticking around, man. Boom, 50 stars from Richard over on the Facebook. We'll get the, let's see if the notification pops up for that one. There it is. That one worked. Richard Huntington, thanks for the 50 stars. Okay. What kind of planets? Is that a tropical right there? That's an icy planet. What am I thinking? There's another planet behind it. I thought so. Where's the third? It said three planets here, right? There we go. Lifeless planet over there. What about the third rock from the sun? Y'all remember? I know you do. 
the ringed planet. Oh, that's a tropical planet right there. Super critical. It's radioactive. Radioactive. I don't know which planet to visit. <laughs> Let's go to the lifeless world. Uh, we go, yes. Uh, new save every time. Both players start a new save at the same time. Bixler, welcome to it. The black hole today was awesome. Yes. We, we, we chart tonight in the name of the new, newly photographed black hole. Yes. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Welcome, welcome, new viewers coming along. Why they all gotta be so super critical, Richard? Super duper critical. <laughs> You're gonna get that stuck in my head complicated. Oh man. You know what goes well with Black Hole? Wait, what is that song actually called, Complicated Mike? What is the name of that actual song? Because I can't think of it right now. Uh, Chaos Control. We actually had a 16-person cage match. Or what did we have? 12? Did we get 16 for that one? I don't remember. We had a whole bunch. They were all on screen at the same time. We rebroadcast them through that Geknib Gang YouTube channel. Multiple players on screen at the same time. It was great. I don't really like how I have to talk about the cage matches in past tense, come to think of it. I don't like that it's past tense now. That's the only... This lifeless planet is real mountainy. They usually seem like they're a lot smoother. This is a rocky one. Chaos Control, it's all on the Gecknip Gang YouTube. YouTube.com slash Gecknip Gang. Oh, it's, this song is called Radio Gaga. I searched Radio Goo Goo. <laughs> oh wait, Lifeless Planet, no need to scan, right? Lovely crinkly edges, Richard, indeed. It's been windy here today, too. Very windy. Blowing the door out of my hands at work. Surprising me. Making me go, oh. Making me go, wait a second. The Watahagib. Utterly still. The weather is utterly still. Pruda, 18. In the Magnusk Noak 18 system. Wow, Planet 18 in System 18. The numbers matched up. Too bad it wasn't 16 and 16, eh? Eh? 16 and 16? Radio Gragra Ford Prefect. Hell yeah. <laughs> Damn it, Prefect. <laughs> it's, it's too good. It's too good. Oh my goodness. That one got me. Well done. Okay. We need to make... A signal booster. Well, no. We don't need to make one. We just need to put this one down. Because we, we reuse our equipment. We don't leave it back on the planet and forget all about it. No. Not here. Oh. Not here. So I'm going to enter these coordinates. Zero, zero. Oh, wait. Sorry. I started at the wrong one. We skipped the first set of letters. R-U-S-F-E. We don't need those. We don't need those. So zero E three F. Zero, zero, eight, three. Zero, four, E, nine. Zero, zero, seven, nine. Black holes are always a seven, nine. Let me show you what I'm typing in. I'm typing those in at blackholesuns.com. There's the spreadsheet. I'm entering here. Let's go ahead and get the... Uh, system info right here oh it doesn't show us the region though and we're going to rename it gng for the Gecknib gang magnusk noak 18 there we go and we'll get the oh wait 
It is a medium supply system. Got to get the region name. Got to get the region. Yeah, definitely. Definitely got to get the region. So we enter those into the spreadsheet. That's the first half of this set of coordinates, right? Pick that up. Get back in the ship. A radio gaga. Love a good spreadsheet. We go. You might be into some black hole charting. I know uh, you've played No Man's Sky, right? Have you? Wait. Do I know that? Now I can't remember for sure. I've seen your stream a couple times, We go though. Good stuff. Um, Samuel Fisher. Hold on, let me see your question. Cross-platform implementation. Sam Fisher, I think that would be a great if it was, but it also seems like that would just be part of the online update, you know? You know what I mean? Nerve, welcome to it, by the way. Welcome, welcome, new viewers rolling in. Okay, we got the coordinates. We're in the black hole system. Not going to bother with frigates. Let's go to the black hole, which is over there. Kapia. No putting people in boxes. You do play it, we go. Okay, yeah, well. If you like spreadsheets and you like No Man's Sky, boy, blackholesuns.com might be the website for you to visit. You should you go check it out. I recommend everybody go check it out if you're into No Man's Sky. Check out their route calculator tool. If you ever need to get anywhere in this game, you're going to want to take some black holes. And boy... That website has the black holes. That's why I add my research to blackholesons.com. <laughs> Complain it was cold because it was under 80. Complicated, Mike. Boy, I hope I can do that soon. Hey, we go. Black hole charting is a great way to see the galaxy. Just a fantastic way to see the universe. For less than three Altarian dollars a day. Or whatever. Uh, what were we jumping in? We were using, yeah, the TZ3 Bazaka. This is our black holer for this um, save. Banaka. Not Bazaka. TZ3 Banaka. Banaka. Oh, you know what? Let me check something. Nope, still good. All good. Everything looking good, sounding good out there. Let me know if there's any issues. Banaka. Getting ready to the update. Got to move to the hub. Nice, Sam Fisher. Nice, nice. Banaka blast. Look at that. Is that an exotic flying in? circling? No, that's just a hauler. That's just a hauler. That's my frigate. This one. Where'd you go? Complicated Mike logging in over on Twitch. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yeah, we go blackholesuns.com. Richard's got it there in the chat. Hanging with Positivity Bot. Is that what it says in the who's in the chat, Complicated Mike? I was looking at some of those bot channels on Twitch the other day. Holy cow. They're weird. <laughs> I don't know. I don't understand what those bots are even doing, but there are a lot of them. Oh, there's a lot of them. Bot viewers on Twitch just like I don't know, it's weird. I started to fall down that rabbit hole, and then I got myself out of it because I didn't want I didn't want to be there. Twenty bots on Twitch, wow. Yeah, that hauler was sweet looking. 
Okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I need to get something else. One more thing. For the spreadsheet. I need the region name. We're in the v Vecats Anomaly. V-E-Q-U-A-T-Z-E -E Anomaly. The cats. The Vacats Anomaly. All right. And away we go. Okay. Zoom, zoom. Black hole number one for the evening. Can I get a hashtag black hole in the chat, please? Let's go. M82, where are you? Is that the right number? Of the galaxy that was photographed? I can't believe they took a picture of that galaxy's black hole, huh? Hey -o. oh, oh, oh hey -o. Voyeurism from millions of light years away. That's an innuendo, but it's late at night, so the kids should be in bed anyway. Uh-oh. We got freighter battle. Good thing we're black holing in a fighter. Wait. Where's the behind me? There he is. Hey. Hey, punk. You leave that freighter alone. You leave him alone. You get out of here. Get. Hey. Get. I told you get out of here. All right, tell you get out of here. You better get out of here. Give me that shield recharge. What's... Don't you shoot my ship. You're going to pay for that, you little punk. That's a new paint job. I just got this thing. Hey. Taking a little black hole and I come out to get these punks in the ship. Get off of this freighter's log. The grumpiest star pilot. Should I do a series? Should I do a web series based in No Man's Sky about the grumpiest star pilot? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm not going to do that. But if you do that, I want a guest star on it. Anybody. Anybody. Whoever steals that idea, I want to be a guest star. You have to contact me. Or else I'll tell YouTube on you. <laughs> This freighter doesn't belong to you. That's not your copper. That copper belongs to the Gek, the friendly Gek. I don't even know who's in this system, actually. I just got here. I'm on vacation. Just out here taking my Star Fox ship for a road trip down the Black Hole Highway, and I got to deal with this. I don't even know whose freighter this is. What am I doing? Oh, did I just back into it? I think I backed into the freighter. Zoom. Let's go, baby. Where is he? Don't you hide by that freighter. Come out here and face me like a man. Oh, come on. Don't you hide by that freighter. You get away from me. You get away from me. I hope I didn't just hit that traitor. Can I buy your freighter? I don't think I have enough. Oh, there's still more. Oh, there were four sets on this one. Wasn't it worth there? Work wasn't there? Where's it? Where's it third? Get out of here. Get out of here. Come on. Where the hell? Would you get out of the freighter, please? What are you doing? Get away from there. Scatter. Stop flying by. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Oh, he is really hugging the freighter for dear life, isn't he? I don't want to take shots while he's that close to the freighter, you know? Oh, get out of here. You're joking me. This guy. Get out of there. <laughs> he was being obnoxious about it. I've never seen one hug the freighter that obnoxiously. He 
was really making me work for it. He was really testing my patience. Look at this freighter, though. That's kind of a nice one. I don't know if I'll be able to afford it. I don't know if I'll be able to afford it. Oh, my goodness. Hey, Rock. Welcome to it. Let me see. Wego's got to head to bed. Is that true? I'm catching up on the chat real quick. I'll tell him. <laughs> oh, man. What's the Black Hole Highway? A Rock. A Rock knows J Spot. Welcome to it. I just painted my ship. Nice one, nice one. Oh, if I flew away, he should have followed me? Really? Well, oh well. Oh yeah, what am I doing? I'm going upstairs. Alright, we'll catch you later, Wego. Thanks for coming by. And welcome to the new viewers joining us here on Gaming Mike's channel. Glad to have you along. Thanks to those that are hitting the like button if you're enjoying the No Man's Sky tonight. If you liked that battle, please consider clicking or tapping the like button on this video. Whether you're watching now, live in the stream, or in the future. And if you are in the future, I hope the internet yes, let's look for treasure. still works. Treasure! But it must work if you're watching this. So leave a comment. <laughs> Your comments are like treasure! Oh, look at this puppy! 118 mil- Oh, man. A class 34 slots and I can't afford it. I only have 10 million units. <laughs> there you go, Ford. Into the spirit of the grumpiest star pilot. Cyber angst. Welcome, welcome. Thanks for the thumb tickle. <laughs> I want this freighter. Man. Of all the times to finally find an A-class. And that was after a black hole jump, too, wasn't it? We're on the other side of that black hole. That's a black hole freighter find, baby. God, I wish I could buy that. Ah. Oh. Anybody want to log in and drop me 118 million units right now? Oh, you can't. Where would I sell it? I can't leave. No, wait. If somebody logs in, stays on this freighter, I could go sell the stuff they bring me. Does anybody have a whole bunch of treasure on PS4? Uh, normal mode? Hilbert Dimension? Lord Prefect. More people will come if there's punch and pie. Yes, I was told there would be punch and pie. <laughs> Ford Prefect, thank you very much for that super chat donation. Hashtag it up. Hashtag Ford Prefect in the chat. Uh, A-Rock. I mean, not everybody's going to get a freighter battle when they jump through, but it is a nice freighter to get the battle with, right? If you wait for your two-hour timer to be up, and then you jump through. That is a nice note to add. And there were cute shuttle ships in the last system too, A-Rock. I should add that too. Cute shuttle ships. We are, of course, charting black holes with the blackholesuns.com tools. A-Rock, a, in an integral part of that project over at blackholesuns.com. Be sure to tell them thanks. Let's hurry and add the note real quick. Cute ships in this system. shuttles in that um, and then nice freighter in this system which I don't know the name of yet so we we'll have to wait on that I leave the best notes but you can leave notes in the uh, spreadsheet too just so you know just so you know the MV6 Usapak that sounds like a Klingon freighter name too, doesn't it? Is this a Viking system? Who am I talking to? A Gek? A Gek. Sorry, I can't buy your freighter. I really would like to. I'd be able to sell them to NPC ships on the ship. You're right. Yeah, NPCs landing on the freighter could buy stuff too, huh? Uh, no, it doesn't actually matter if you're in Hilbert when you join me. No, it doesn't complicated mic. It does not matter. Kapla! Why? Complicated mic? You got treasure? Oh, nice. Oh, complicated mic. 
I can still go back and buy it from him again, right? Does he give me the option as long as I don't leave? Admiral Dahl? Yeah, no, you can still offer to buy it. Okay, okay. Complicated Mike to the rescue? Ah, uh, Complicated Mike. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, let's hang out on the freighter for a minute. Let's go check out what kind of ships are flying in. Maybe I'll stand on a ship if there's a good one that lands, too. Maybe we'll find an S-Class. <laughs> Complicated Mike coming in with the treasure haul. Lovely. Stand on one. Well, if, I mean, if there's, if there's, you know, one to save. Oh, wait, in multiplayer, they still stay there in multiplayer when you stand on them, don't they? Or do they start taking off? Uh, Sam Fisher, there are many terms for many things in this world, and I'm not the person here that's deciding which term is what. Okay? Okay. <laughs> A nice red hauler to match the red freighter. Should I start color collecting like Sword does? That would be kind of fun, actually. Saw that Sword was doing that. And there's someone on... I can't think of their name. Someone on Twitter's been posting some great ship collections. I gotta find out their name. I think I've retweeted them a few times. I'm just blanking on the name right now. But it's... Uh, like today they posted their Fallout ships. They were all blue and yellow like Fallout suit colors. It was great. But yeah, themed collections of ships is a, is a neat idea that I like. Daniel just found an S-Class Exotic a couple days ago. Pretty uh, small cargo. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta take the hit on those exotics. What is the max slots on an exotic? What's the most you can get? I forget. Have to acquire treasure and then join in? Okay, okay. No worries. How long will this freighter hang around if I fly around? Would I be able to go to the station and this freighter stays here? They don't ever warp out, do they? Radish V, welcome to it. A white collection posted today, Richard? Yeah, nice. 20 plus 6 on the exotics? Okay, okay, roger that. So 18's not really too bad for an exotic, if, if you can max out a 20. That's pretty good. Don't fly too far away from it, says Ivy. Yeah, that's what I thought about. How come nothing's flying in here? Sam Fisher thinks if I stay in the system and online, it will stay there. That's the thing. I don't. I didn't think the freighters ever left. Like they'll warp into a system, but I've never. I don't think they warp out. Unless somebody specifically recalls seeing a freighter warp out of a system. Oh, they do. Lava lamp's been left falling in open space twice. They do warp out. Interesting. You sure that wasn't your friend's freighter in multiplayer, though? Or something like that? I don't know if I want to toy with it. Oh, I don't know. Wait, complicated Mike, when you say you have to go gather the treasure, you're not about to go dig up a bunch, are you? Because if that's the case, I don't think you need to go to the trouble. I could just keep going with the uh, black hole. In. Do ships land on freighter battle freighters? You know what? I don't know. Maybe they don't because it was under attack and all that. I don't know. You'll be wanting more in a few hours, Bradish. Oh, yeah. Actor Matt, welcome to it. Nice to see you, sir. Yeah, nothing is flying in here, though. That's for sure. Dang. If I fly out and back in, traders will come. We'll try it, Ivy. We'll try it.
They're not circling or anything. Whoa, he pulled me in from there? I didn't think he would yet. Oh, complicated. No worries then. No worries. I'll just keep going with the black hole in. Thanks for, uh, thanks for trying though. Thanks for trying. And if that's the case, yeah, let's get going. Because I don't have 118 million units. Yo! Okay, so we just arrived here. Where are we? Where the hell am I? Space rescue. It's marked on the galactic map. Mission signal detected. Oh. I don't think he's going to leave. I don't think he's going to leave. But anyway, where's the spreadsheet? There it is. This is a adequate system, economically speaking. The region name is the Nadeutsch Spur. That's right, the Nadeutsch Spur. And then the system name is going to be Uaquini Perm 14. Uaquini Perm 14. <laughs> I'm just updating the sheet real quick with those notes and now we have to get coordinates and we'll be on our way so let's drop down to a planet but which planet well actually actually let's call in this freighter Is the other guy's still there he's still there he's still there I think he's gonna hang out I think he's gonna hang out Oh yeah. Only got about 50 million in that save. PC save, you can make me a king. That's okay, yeah. They've turned plaid. They've gone plaid. Let's get back in the old Watahagi. We don't break the Legacy Shuttle in Black Holes, oh no. Break the Star Fox ship. Our buddy's still there. Alright. Where are those planets? Wait, how many planets was it? Two planets, one, two moons. Two planets, two moons. Okay. There's a planet. It's got a ring on it. It's acrid, fungal mold, toxic, yuck. Don't go there. The other planet. Incandescent, solanium growing. It's gonna be hot. How about this moon? Rocky moon, cactus flesh, deserty. Take your sunscreen. Terraforming catastrophe? Well, I'll take another lifeless planet, I suppose. I wonder if it'll be all mountainous like the one that it was in the system what which we left before. You know, my English, so good. My English. Ford's on a roll. Uh-oh. Richard, I see it, but Streamlabs doesn't... There it is. Richard, what's he say? Sing it to me. For the freighter bund. Rocket, 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 rocket money with wings, money, mouth, face, money, bag, dollar, banknote. <laughs> bag, dollar, banknote. Richard Huntington with the $20 super chat. I don't believe it, sir. Thank you very much. Hashtag it up for him. Richard Huntington. Been streaming again more lately, too. If you haven't checked out Richard Huntington streams. Does a lot of No Man's Sky. Sometimes some other stuff. Richard, thank you for that support, as always. Very strong supporter of the channel. Showing the love. 
show him the love in the chat. Thanks for, thanks for showing him the love in the chat too. Appreciate it, Richard. Boom, knocking down the stream boss too. The hard phone's still holding it down as stream boss. He's about halfway now though. Thank you, Richard. Of course, when the stream boss gets knocked out, the next stream on YouTube is advertisement free. Heartphone currently sitting up there as stream boss for her donation of the Constellation Andromeda ship in Star Citizen that we've been flying around in a few times now. Pretty amazing ship. I tell you what. Looking forward to the 3.5 patch coming out for Star Citizen. The whole flight model upgrade and everything. Gonna be interesting. Especially finding out if that thing can take off from a big planet. That constellation Andromeda. Oh my gosh. Lerhoen. Lerhoen. This is planet Lerhoen. Where's my coordinates at? Kiga. Alrighty. Alrighty. Where's the spreadsheet? Let's put that back up on screen so y'all can see what I'm doing here. We got this coordinate 0127 uh, 007C 070F 0064. I didn't catch it when we came in. How many, how far did we go? We're now approximately 707,000 light years from the center. I know that much. So there we go, we got the notes added. Cute shuttles and a nice freighter. And that's a complete entry into blackholesuns.com's entry sheet, logging black holes here on the internet. And then once that's uploaded, it'll show up in the totals for the Hilbert dimension and be mapped. So we'll see the totals on the PS4 come up. Look at that, 3,098 black holes mapped so far. This right here, this big map, is the comp uh, composition of all galaxies. But then you can see below, it is broken out by galaxy. Eisentam's got a lot done. And then here's Itchy the Nomad, tearing out into the universe. Getting about 80 black holes per trip through each galaxy. He's just tearing right through them. It's crazy. It's crazy. Daniel says that's a nice spreadsheet. You bet your ass it's a nice spreadsheet. There's been a lot of work going into this. These guys, Black Hole Suns has a Discord. Uh, you find it all at blackholesuns.com. There's links in here to the Discord somewhere that's the totals oh there's an faq page yeah it shows you how to fill it out here's all the links here's all the links so and then this all comes together in the distance and route calculator tool which i'll show you here real quick what do we got and they're uh constantly improving this thing it's under it's undergoing a lot of changes all the time uh, as more data comes in, improving, you know, the way it works on the back end. But this is what it does. You enter, look, you choose, this is set for PC Xbox in the Euclid Galaxy. You can tell it your hyper jump capacity. This is set to 105, which is really low. Uh, and then you can set, uh, set your starting point. They've also got a drop down of like predestined, predetermined locations. Yaknip Gang Hub is on there. We're not going to change that right now, though. And then target destination, and it shows you the route to take from start da -da 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 to finish. And these are all black hole jumps you can make. Uh, let's see. Estimated hyper... Look at this. Total number of jumps. Because the hyper jump capacity is so low, the total number of jumps on this was huge. Um, hyper jump reduction, 9,000. But uh, six black holes used to make 1,700 jumps. But if you, let's see, let's just, let's just edit this really quick. 2105. If we put a more proper, I mean, that's more likely something you're going to have as an actual hyper jump capacity. And it'll recalculate that. You can see the bar going up here as it recalcs. And it's going to take a minute. Because this thing's going through all the black hole data for PC, Xbox, Euclid, Galaxy to uh, crunch those numbers and find the best route. But you'll see this is going to redraw as it calculates. And uh, 
show the new route. Oh, Richard, you haven't looked at the tab. Yeah, this is what it's all about. This is the sweet, uh, this is the, uh, the real, what am I trying to say? This is what it's all about. This is all, what it's all about is finding your way through the galaxy quicker. Yeah, A Rock, like A Rock mentions there in the chat, there is work on a on a web app going on to make this thing faster, because it's all running through Google Sheets right now. So some of these calculations can take a bit of time. <laughs> it looks like that's uh, taking it a minute to calculate. Here, what we'll do is we'll get back to it, and then we'll come back to that in a minute. Yeah, A Rock, that was a really low warp drive capacity. 105 is not something that, I mean, maybe the starter ship is 105. I don't know. Do you ever get 105? It just seems like it's been a long time since I've had such short, such low capacity for hyperdrive. Oh, the Watahagi. What a ship. I love this ship. This thing got me through the galaxy the first time, okay? It's my first timer ship. So, you know, sentimental. Let's see. Oh, vignettes on 100%. Why is that on by default? Get that out of there. How's the depth of field on this? What's it going to do? I want to out of focus the foreground rocks. Yeah, there you go. A little bit. Wait. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Uh, let's just check the filters. You think isolation is going to be good, Richard? I like this one. Which one is this? Vibrant. Vibrant's not bad. Oh, that one's kind of cool. Stock. Yeah, stock is pretty good. Ship looks like a salamander. How dare you? How dare you? Is that isolation? Yep. Not bad. A little bit of green and blue there in the middle. Mostly black and white, though. Too bad the ship's not showing up all colorized. That would be nice. What's that one? Filmic? Filmic's pretty good. That's default. Alright, I got a couple of those. I do post screenshots from the games I play also on my Facebook page. Facebook.com slash Gaming Mike's channel. Just like the other sites. Okay. We got everything we need. We got the coordinates. Right? We got... Yeah, we completed that entire entry. So let's go back to the Geknip Gang Hub where we can find the next neighboring black hole and chart that one out. Yes, let's do that. The wingless dragonfly. Oh, I think that freighter's gone. Is that freighter gone? He might be gone. Tell me, tell me, when does the freighter leave? How long does it stay? Will he ever be back again? Or have I lost my way? Tell me, tell me, tell me. You guys want to write a song tonight? Oh look, it's still there, but it doesn't have the icon anymore. The space battle's over, but he is still there. Evil Javi 4, welcome to it. What's new in No Man's Sky? Big news now is we're waiting for the summer update. The Beyond update, if you haven't heard about it, Google that. 
It's going to be big. They've announced two components of it. One is online and one is VR. So a lot of us are going to be going virtual this summer. <laughs> it's going to be nuts. It's going to be nuts. Let's get out of this system. Zoom. It's going to be a good one. Plug me in, plug me in. It's going to be nice, eh, Ivy? Go meet up out there in the galaxy and high-five each other and stuff. <laughs> I'm hoping they give um, more to do as a multiplayer thing. I mean, the current multiplayer system as is doesn't exactly give you that much to do together. More tech slots. You want to box other players? <laughs> you want to have a cage match boxing style? Oh, memories of the wind. I'm going to walk into so many walls, Bradish. And you're going to tune in to see it. <laughs> cage matches will never be the same. And that's when cage matches changed forever. Haptic feedback high fives would be so sweet. <laughs> Can you imagine? Oh my gosh. Zabba Zabba. You have a gift? Did I already check with you? Oh, a gift. Oh, hooray. Thank you. Some Hexite. Aw, oh, man, he just gave me Hexite. What? Don't give me your trash. All right. We want to go... The Bubba Gekia system. Oh no. Wait, I know how to find out. Oh, you know what? Need to rename these. Uh, I like this name, Magnusk Noak. That's good. That's a good name. XV I I I Magnus Knowack 18 There we go You a Queenie Perm fourteen Roger, roger. Okay. Now, what are we looking for? That was Tawaii. Maybe we should just go... Actually, let's just go from the capital system. That'll be easiest. That will be easiest. For sure. Fine. Fine and dandy. Sav Jazz Station. Let's go back to Sav Jazz Station. Dated one of those, Bradish? Kind of boring. Well, I guess not all stereotypes are true. <laughs> oh my, and welcome to any new viewers joining us. Thanks for coming along. Those hanging out, thank you as well. Appreciate you being here for the regular stream. We're about an hour into it. We do it Monday, Wednesday, Friday on Gaming Mike's channel, 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's the regular stream, but I do try to stream uh, randomly other than that when I can. So if you're liking what you're seeing, 
be sure to hit the like button if you haven't already. If you want to see more, be sure to subscribe. The bell button has an option for all notifications you can turn on so that you have a better chance of being notified when I go live, even though YouTube's not the greatest about notifying people about the people they subscribe to doing stuff. It's not the best at it, but you can always join me in my Discord or the Gecknip Gang Discord if you want uh, more streams to watch, especially check out the Gecknip Gang Discord. But my streams are announced in both of those Discord servers automatically and more reliably than they're announced by YouTube sometimes. Just saying. I'm just saying. Let's go warp to another system. Let's go find another black hole to chart. Venuto, man, thanks for that mixer host. That guy, welcome to it. Arriving at Sav Jazz Station. Please be polite. Keep your elbows to yourself. Magnusk Nowak. Alright. So, look, there's a black hole right there. Haven't charted that one. It's in the Tagyan 16 system. Oh, one planet, two moons, huh? Well, I like that. Let's go. We are charting black holes in the Hilbert dimension on PS4. Normal mode. No Man's Sky. The Nipple Twister of Love. Welcome to the chat. Boy, I'm glad you tuned in. I've never read that name before in my life. Is there a nipple twister of hate? Do you have a counterpart? Celestial bodies, one planet, two moons. There you go, Ford Prefect. That's the way. This is a very deep reddish-orange system. Ivy, you like it? Tropical moon with ancient bones. We should probably go down there for some treasure hunting. Oh, we're gonna go look for treasure. Where's the other moon? Don't hide from me. Oops. Venuto, man, what's he say? Sing it to me. This needs to be a Beat Saber song. Camel, two hump, camel, camel, two hump, camel, two hump, camel, camel, two hump, camel, camel, two hump, camel, two hump, camel. Oh, yeah, this needs to be a Beat Saber song. Two hump, camel, camel, two hump, a camel. Venuto, man, with the $5 super chat donation to the channel. Thank you very much, V Man. How did your Beat Sabering go? I was also lurking on V-Man stream a little bit before my stream. And uh, he was playing some Beat Saber in VR. V-Man's stoked about the No Man's Sky VR too. Aren't ya? I think we all are. I think we all are. Safe to say. A two hump, a camel, camel, two hump, a camel. A two hump, a camel, camel, two hump, a camel. This needs to be a Beat Saber song. Two hump, camp, camp, two hump, two hump. You're beat? Oh, <laughs> Venuto Man played Beat Saber and now he's beat. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get it. Could you explain your joke? Give me that tritium. Face my face beam. What? What? You, uh, what? He was just out of range. The good stuff. The good stuff in the special asteroids. What was it? Better be platinum. 
Better be platinum. There it is. A two hump, a camel, camel, two hump, a camel. Alright, where's that other moon? What the hell's going on here? What do you think That's the one I scanned? Seems all he thinks about is silver and gold. Silver and gold. Silver and gold. <laughs> oh, Cornelius. Spaceships with frickin' lasers. There's the other moon. I found it contaminated. Let's go get treasure. Let's look for treasure on the planet Ellie Omega. Ellie Omega. Silver and gold. Let's look for treasure. Yes, let's look for treasure. Yeah. Okay. Uh oh. Entering atmosphere. No looksies. Losing all frames. Look at this planet. He looks for treasure and licks his pickaxe. Oh, yeah. Forget Yukon Cornelius. Is that a hollow terminus? By some caves? I don't believe it. Do I have a photo mission to photograph a hollow terminus, though? Do I? One way to find out. Nope, I don't. That's okay. Oh, Gravitino Balls, we're gonna have angry sentinels. High security. Hey, Dino. What up? Where's your head? Where's your head at? Oh, there it is. Oh, it's Triceratopses. Triceratopses. What up? Depth of field turned down. Wow. Hey, single player, welcome to it. And Rabbit Gripper, good to see you both. So Triceratopsy. Look at the young one with the horns, though. Oh. And the old one with the other horns. Yeah. Yeah. A whole family of them. That's the old one. You like that shuttle single player? Oh, yeah. My Watahagib. No mods, we're playing on PS4. First person in the chat to say no mods is gonna have this flats named after them. The Latots flats will be yours if you say no mods first. And that's first according to what I see in my chat, not what you see in yours, because yours might appear first to you, even though it doesn't to me. Because everybody's gonna type it at the same time. Single player gets it, though. Single player gets it. Venuto, man, with the caps. The caps lock slowed you down, my man. The caps lock slowed you down. This is going to be the single player flats. Our Dumbulier. Oh, hey, no. Come on, man. We're not doing that right now. You're such a turd. Oh. I forgot he has the wind up before he shoots sometimes. What? Get 
Get out of here. Where'd that other canister go? It fell through the earth. It fell through. What did I even land down here for? Oh, whippy plant, damn it. What did I even land down here for? <laughs> yeah, everybody saw themselves first, right? Everybody saw themselves first in the chat. That's why we go by who I see first. Oh my god, we got little flying... Oh, they're not Gek-like, though. <gasps> Predator. Predator. Oh, whoops. I didn't mean to shoot the hillside. I didn't mean to scan, either. Predator down. Stop flying. That was rude. That was just for no reason. Three, two, one, done. Oh, come on! <laughs> I went for the peekaboo, and he saw me immediately. Where is he? Oh, he's over there. Went for the peekaboo and got spotted. Story of my life, man. <laughs> Natural burial site, 761 away. That's why we came down here. The treasure. You bet there's gravitinos on this planet, though. Making the sentinels all paranoid and touchy. Skittish. Slow grazer. Oh, they're not even predators. They're friendly kitties here. I thought he was a predator. I stereotyped him. I stereotyped him. Wow, look at that beastie. Look at him. Night Hunter. Where am I in this shot, anyway? Oh, I was in first-person mode. I'm not in this shot. Cool, cool, cool. Let's touch this up a little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then... Oh! That looks kind of cool. Whoa. Huh. His eyes. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Perfect. Oh no, hellhounds. Oh, there we go. That's isolation right there. Ball. Oh, look at Filmic. That's back to default.
Wow. They're so scary looking. <laughs> That's the sound it makes? Star Wars Fallen Jedi Order, Bixler? Nice. Is that going to be RPG style? Or what type of game is it? What genre? Let's go out for some treasure. Let's go out for some treasure. And hope the Sentinels leave us be. I want to know what it's going to be like to melee boost jump in VR. Uh-oh. You know what I mean? Melee boost jump in VR. It's going to be sweet. Jetpacking across a planet. It's going to be a trip and a half, man. A trip and a half. 1.5 trips total. Who's doing all that screaming? Settle down. What's up? Oh, there's the predator. There's the predator. Behavior intelligent. We don't like that. We don't like intelligent critters. Interesting looking predator, though. Back off, sentinel. I'm going after buried stuff. Get out of here, cre creatures. Nauseating, says Ivy. Just have a bucket nearby. No, oh, man. Listen. It's going to be awesome. Ancient bones. A blue. I got a blue one. Are there multiple bones around here? Yeah, look at it. That's the one I just plucked. No, it's not. That's a different one. Oh, nice. Grubby bone fragment. Okay. Aha! Intact skeleton. Nice. Found a gold. That's gonna sell well. That's gonna sell well. Eight seventy seven, two fifty one. What the seven fifty five, two seventy. Oh, no, that's the first intact you've seen, Ivy. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, I'm glad I have that. That's going to be a good one. Pugnium Mordite. Oh, we got Sodium Nitrate over there. Keep it up. Fragments, fragments everywhere. Oh, what does it say on the value? 1.6 million. Okay, okay. Oh, that would be nice to place those in the bases, Ivy. Absolutely.
What did we have? 270? I think I'm going that way. I think I'm going to this one. That was all the stuff around here, right? Yeah. Get out of here, Sentinel. Sword taken off. Have a good one, man. Thanks again for that raid. We'll catch you later on. Richard taken off, too. Right on. Out of work. Be safe out there, sir. We'll see you later as well. Oh, no. Thanks for the reminder, single player. I have not done it yet. Wow, we're 7 of 10 on the species on this planet, though. Single player flats. Single player. Flats. Kabuya. Old Google to remind you to make radon. Nice. That's handy. Where was my marker? Wait a second. Oh, whippy plant. Oh, I saw it. Too late, man. Too late. Too late did I see the whippy plant. I was already in motion. Uh-oh. The coppers know I'm digging treasure. Oh, he doesn't see me. You don't see me. Oh, you don't see me. Oh, I marked the wrong one. Oh, come on, buddy. Is that a cave? Nope, not quite. Ouch. I keep losing the marker because I'm walking over it. Making it go away. Where is it? What the... Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay, Sentinel's gone. a cave down here. Worn bones. Lots of bones. Wow. Alright, that guy. We'll catch you later on. Thanks for hanging out.
Oh, now there's toxic for all of a sudden. The caves in VR? Yeah, Ivy. Oh, man. That'll be nice. Look at this grass floor in the cave. What? What? Green grass inside a cave. Would I want another ARG for No Man's Sky? No. Not, not even a little. <laughs> Look at this cave. It's got... Since when do the caves have grass inside of them though? I thought they had different kinds of floors and stuff. Like over there. I don't think I've ever seen grass inside of a cave before. That's crazy. Single player flats. It's within range. It's within range of the flats. I'm right underneath the flats. <laughs> yeah, single player. I was kind of thinking the same. Like, uh, yeah. And it's green grass too though, that's the thing, is you don't see the green grass all that often either, right? Or it seems like it, I don't know. I'm not paying that close attention to the grass colors these days. But it's got, it's got upstairs plants downstairs. Like these bushes and these rocks and stuff. It's cave roof, but it's regular ground. Even the Gravitino ball spawned down here. Even the Grav ball. <laughs> I did say that, Daniel. Bone Junkie, welcome to it. Oh, my Lord. Gotta see something real quick. <laughs> uh, let's see. I just want to trim this up real fast. No big deal. 
<laughs> Bear with me, y'all. That moment kind of struck me, and I want to just make this video about it really quick. Let's see. I did that little bump at the beginning on accident, but then I smoothed it out like right there, right? And start there. And... Yeah. And probably end it there. Well, that's an even 30 seconds if I just let it have white on the end. That'd be like a neat little intro for something, don't you think? <laughs> oh, just doing some... Just doing some quick video editing. I'm a mystic now. <laughs> That's right, I am instinct. Team instinct. Time for yoga meditation, says Bixler. Let's post this. What should we title this on Twitter? What should I title this video? I'm going to post it to Twitter real fast right here. Y'all can go retweet it if you like. But what do we call it? Let's put a hashtag no man's sky on there, of course. Let's put a... Nah, we don't need to at them on everything, do we? Should we call it... Should we call it... <laughs> uh... Hmm... Huh. I'm drawing a blank. Just drawing a blank. Single player says yes at them. I mean, it's just a 30 second clip of me sitting in a cave though. Oh. Oh wait. Should I just... <laughs> Beyond. <laughs> no. Uh, boogers make good pillows. Um. Oh, you know what? Serenity. Oh, man. I was doing... I was posting videos for a while on Twitter. When I found calm, peaceful moments when I was out and about, I would post them. I'd take a 30-second video and then post it with the title Serenity it's the number. I was numbering them. So let me just search something real fast on Twitter. I'm halfway through it. I'm halfway through the search. What was my latest Serenity? 12. My last one was Serenity 12. This is Serenity 13. There. Perfect. It's okay. I already took care of this title on Twitter before. I just didn't realize it. Serenity 13. So that should be on Twitter in a moment if y'all want to go retweet it. I'm Mr. Michael K on social media. You can find me posting on Twitter, other social media sites. Mr. Michael K. That's how to find it. What filter was this anyway that I'm using? And I don't know if I was done getting this shot. There's still a photo in here somewhere that I want to get. I don't know what it is though. The one with the light surrounding him was pretty good. Serenity now! Title Best Money Glitch. You'll never believe this money making trick in No Man's Sky. <laughs> I could do that. It looks like the light's just shooting out of his chest, though. I want to change the filter. That's default. You can kind of see the cave better with that. What shows the cave better? Maybe this. Maybe I shouldn't be sitting by the Gravitino ball if I want to show it all off. Maybe I should move. Definitely make it a base. Yeah, I, I think I really should put... But I'm wondering if I put a base computer down here and then I try to teleport to it, that might be a disaster waiting to happen. You know, where is it going to plot me? Is it going to know to plot me inside this cave? Or am I going to be in like some cave down the way? Or where is it going to pop me out if I put a... Of course, once you put the base teleporter in, doesn't that... So 
sort of hone in where you pop into. You can pinpoint the exact moment when his soup left his body. I love this hallway here too. Yeah, but this cave in VR... Holy shamoly. You gotta give it a try, you're right, I do. Ellie Omega. Like an entryway. A worthy effort, actor Matt. Worthy effort. What a lovely cave, though. Like, seriously. Seriously lovely cave. Definitely gonna put a base here. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. Definitely putting a base in a lovely, definitely lovely cave. Definitely. it call itself Luis Colony? <laughs> Claim base. This cave in VR would be like a colostomy. That's a hell of a... That's a hell of a simile. Rename base. Grass cave. Grass cave. How do I get out of here, I wondered. Oh, free for all going. Toker started it off in the chat. If you're watching on YouTube, type exclamation FFA. Get a chance to win some more experience points. Active chatters, of course, are earning experience points. 10 points for every 10 minutes of active chatting means if meaning if you type once in a 10 minute period, you're gonna get that 10 points for that 10 minutes. Of course, the bots can only keep track of you if you are chatting once in a while. Unfortunately, lurkers can't get those experience points because the bots don't know you're there. But, we do use those experience points for our monthly giveaway. You can enter the giveaway with experience points. We do that on the first Tuesday of the month. Every month. We play the PlayStation Plus free games for that month and then give away the gift card to one lucky subscriber who enters that night. Oh! Hello, toxins. That scared me. Oh, Ivy Mike, you're right. I need the coordinates. Well, wait. This is... Oh my gosh. That's right. We were charting black holes. This is the uh, first... Yeah, I'll be entering the coordinates on the spreadsheet. I just got distracted from the task. Where was my ship? Over there. Got way distracted from the black hole, and didn't we?
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got to build that teleporter. Yeah, rabbit gripper. I don't know if I have the stuff for the teleporter. Uh, I wasn't planning on building it right now, necessarily. Oh, Ivy Mike wins the free-for-all for 450 experience. Nice, nice, nice. Checked up there. Checked up there. We didn't check over here. Oh, wait. Yeah, we did. That's the way we went up. <laughs> you may be so bold, Bradish. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You may. Oh, look, another Gravitino. I have to get a good shot of this grassy cave, though. I need a good shot of it, don't I? Yes. Store defaults. Take the vignette off. I don't know. Maybe 80. Grass cave. Grass cave. <laughs> oh, Mary, I'm sorry if your hands hurt. Oh, I'm sorry. Where was that hallway out? Is this the hallway out? No, this is some other hallway. Whoa. It's not the way out though. What the? Wait. Oh, that was one of those explody plants. I bet this is real close to the surface, huh? This must be. God. Where is that thing? Oh, it's right there? Oh, it's right there, you bastard. Oh, wait. Scan it first. There. Red dots. Oh, look at it when it's raining. Look at this cave when it rains. What? With the fog. Are you kidding me? What a lovely effect. There's that Gravitino ball. Wow, man. I like it. I like this cave. Yeah, Bradish, this is the effect, this is the kind of fogginess you get with some of the storms on some of the planets. It just seems to have bled through. It's almost as if 
the game just thinks this entire part is outside. Watch, I bet if I run into this part, does the fog go away? Nope. That sticks, actually. Never mind. I thought maybe the fog would go away. But it did not. Oh, there's more grass over here. Wow, man. Another grassy chamber. It's like serenity, don't you think? Huh. Look at that lone bush. Oh, vortex cubes. Gravitino balls and vortex cubes. In the same cave. I've noticed that complicated mic, sometimes it's like like the last planet you were on the atmosphere effects show up in the space station sometimes or maybe it's not last planet i don't know but yeah i've seen stuff like that happen lone bush in the musty cave you know it oh look a natural way out too there is one i was hoping so Hey yo, Maribel, thanks for the follow over on Facebook. Welcome aboard. Glad to have you with us. Wow, and there's even star bramble growing out here. Oh, is that another way in? Look at this. Different cave. Wow, man. Oh, there's a third one. Huh? Oh, the sentinel saw me. Get out of here. Nice try, sentinel. Oh my gosh. Lovely. Man, I bet those two red dots I saw while I was down in the cave, I'll bet you they were storm animals. I'll betcha. I gotta mark this entrance somehow, though.
Wow. I like this planet. Uh, yeah, Mary, there are animals that only appear during storms in the game. Sometimes, on some planets. Yeah, beacon that bad boy. That's the best bet. Let's see. Beacons only I will see. Com stations other people will see, right? Beacon that bad boy. Beacon built. So that's the entrance to get to the base. Holy cow. Man, I didn't even really look up at that ringed planet just looming over everything. And the angle of the rings. I love it. So close. Leave me alone, will you? Oh, leave me alone, Sentinels. Oh, I want nothing to do with you. Love that jetpack boost, baby. Hate it when the Sentinels come right out of the ground at me, baby. Oh, God. <laughs> Wonder if there's grass down in that cave. Look at this big chasm I almost fell into. This is the single player flats, right? Yeah. Find that pillar on the right? Oh, the right from where? This is a nice planet. The ground did almost swallow me up, man. That pillar? Oh, this pillar's right above the base. Oh, this is the lookout for the base. This is the lookout tower. Oh, I want to mine all the way up through the middle of this tower and make like a spiral stairway that pops out on top here. There's a sentinel. Where? Down there. Oh my god.
Man. The sweep of those rings. Is that the space station right there? That's the station. Huh. Just hanging out. Uh, Ivy Mike, yes. Yes. Oh my stars, I like this planet. Let's get the Kawardis. Apor. Alright. Back on the spreadsheet. And we are in 0E3F. 0083, 04E7, 0079. That's a two-digit difference from the last black hole that we charted here, because we're in we're we're doing the black holes around the Gekniv Gang hub, so makes sense, yeah. Got the coordinates. There's entrance to base, and that cave goes all the way down to there. Wow. Station, excellent. You like that? I love it when the stations are visible in the sky. Especially that one is pretty close as far as stations in the sky go. I mean, it's, you know, showing up larger than they normally do. I'd reckon. Look at our boy go. Right to the clouds. Ivy wants to wait for the sunrise? Hell yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Everybody out there have a favorite planet? Like a place that you've been in No Man's Sky? It was just so cool. That you just couldn't get enough of it. You had to make a base there. Did you make a base there?
Bye, fellas. Rabbit Gripper starting the boss fight off in the chat. Exclamation boss to join in. Multiple people can win the boss fights, but it takes a lot of people joining to take those bosses down. You make bases everywhere complicated? Yeah, I feel you. It's nice that you can wherever. Is that the sun coming up now? Oh yeah. It's getting plenty light out. Jeez. Lovely planet. There's the station. Oh, good one. Lots of winners in that boss fight. Good job, everybody. Good job. That's good. That's nice to see. Uh, complicated Mike, the reward, I think, is the total of everybody that entered divided among all the winners. Plus, I think, a base amount. Or no, there's a total amount for each boss. That's what it is. So that's divided up amongst the winners. Yeah, Toker, that does sound like a nice planet. I have not seen one of the chromatic planets in some time. They didn't get rid of those envisions, did they? I sure hope not. Y'all, we gotta get out of here. We're supposed to be charting black holes. But what's the point of charting the black holes if you can't stop and smell the rose of a paradise planet on your way, right? The rose? The rose. Hey, Proxy, welcome to it over on DLive. Thanks for the lemon. This game is still alive, actually. There's a big update coming out this summer, Proxy. People are getting pretty stoked for it. It should be a, another significant update for the game. So, it should be pretty cool. And thanks for the follow as well, Proxy, over on DLive. DLive.tv slash Gaming Mike's channel, another site that I've been streaming to lately. Mary, we'll catch you later. Hashtag no hoops for bone junkie. That's right. No hoops. 
Bone Junkie, what are your thoughts on the uh, Beyond update? Do you think you'll be trying no, no Man's Sky out again a little bit when that hits? Look at the sleep of infinity. C-Class with six slots? No thanks. No thank you. Had a lot of people passing through tonight. A lot of people hanging out for the long haul. Thanks for sticking around, y'all. Doing the regular stream thing that we do. Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, 11 p.m. Eastern. Usually go for two or three hours. Depending. We've been going a couple hours now. Feeling good about it. It's nice to be out here exploring. I just like it. You mostly see them in abandoned systems, Rabbit Gripper. Okay, that's I haven't been to an abandoned system in a while, so maybe that's why I'm not seeing them. Maybe we'll have to check some abandoned systems. Oh, let's sell this. Let's sell all these grubby bone fragments. Imperfect, crumbling, worn. Sell it. Sell it. Sometimes you miss it, Bone. Yeah, I feel ya. You gotta be careful with that plasma, Daniel. You gotta be careful. Hamuro of Jeopardy. Hamuro. C Class Explorer. All right. Black hole time. Distress signal. Distress signal. What does the freighter look like? Ah, hell. Well, I can't go into my freighter now anyway. Where's the freighter? Oh, it's this freighter? Fight him in the Watahagi, but I don't care. This thing doesn't handle as well as that fighter. No, sir. Gosh, the freighter game. Community event building door blocked by com balls. Oh my gosh, those com balls, man. I don't care for them. <laughs>
Let's go see. Oh no! The freighter disappeared. What happened to the freighter? What happened to that freighter? I guess they do warp out. What? <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> That freighter straight disappeared on me. Gosh, how rude. important places to be I guess so I mean you know if you got stuff to do go do it you could you could say goodbye though <laughs> you know I'm not gonna keep you not a vampire welcome to it happy Thursday indeed I guess in some places isn't it now it was awful fast Okay, I need to enter this info onto the sheet really fast. This is the Rikar Void. We're in the system Tagian 16. We got the coordinates. It's prosperous. There we go. Okay. Now we can fly through the black hole. Where is it? There she blows. Go for it. Wahoo! You never say bye, you just go, not a vampire? That seems like a the vampire move. Oh wait, you're not a vampire though. Wait a second. Oh, look at the stock filter. Huh. There we go. A zoom. Oh my goodness. I keep thinking about that cave with the grass. Sichiuhe, two planets, one moon. Look at that nice double ring on that planet there. I like it. Poisonous. Bleak. Where's the moon? Where 
is that moon? Where's that moon? There it is. I found it. Oh, a fractured moon. Ooh. We're going to go to that one. To get our coordinates. Let's get the basics. The system is a fledgling economy. It's in the Cabern region. Cabern. Sichuhe. And then we just need the coordinates. Perfect. Zoom. Barely made it in there. It's okay. Rifles, rifles, rifles. It's because I go to a lot of yellow star systems, though. That's why I'm not seeing some of the variety in, like, multi-tools and stuff. Black holing gets you into a lot of yellow star systems. <gasps> not a vampire. Outward's been fun, huh? I've been playing a bit of that myself. Okay, we're here, we're connected, we just need coordinates. Uh. Gorig's resistance. Let's go to that moon. Let's go to that moon. Pew! Shout out to those of you hanging out. Always good to have company out here in No Man's Sky. Oh, looky. Debo Major. Let's go to the Fractured Moon. Craters everywhere. Fractured. Anomalous planet. Oh, Rabbit Gripper, the C-Class alien tool. Oh, man. What was it? Lava Lamps that posted that sweet alien tool? Or was it somebody else? I don't remember exactly who posted it. In the Gecknip Gang Discord, though, somebody posted a real nice alien multi-tool. Either today or yesterday. Either Wednesday or Tuesday. Tell me one of those rings. There's one. Thank you. Stop putting the weapon away, dopey. Oh my gosh. Invisible mist. Debo major. First person to say dopey in the chat is going to have this, whatever it is, this levels. The unto levels will be your levels if you're the first to say dopey in the chat. Yeah. 
That one was not you, Lava Lamp. Okay. Yeah, I know you had posted stuff there today, too. I, I, I couldn't remember. Oh, Turbo Life. I saw yours first. This is going to be the Turbo Life levels. Let's upload that. Let's get that. Turbo Life levels. Turbo Life, if you ever come across your waypoint out there, you send me a postcard. <laughs> that one's for you, buddy. Turbo Life also doing a great playthrough of No Man's Sky on his channel. If you guys haven't checked it out, uh, he does live stream sometimes too, right? Turbo Life? Live stream sometimes, but those uh, pre recorded episodes you put out regularly. Chaos Control, that's right, Rabbit Gripper. Chaos Control found the sweet alien multi tool and posted it in the Geknip Gang Discord. That's what it was. Dropping a sick calm ball. <laughs> I mean, you don't have to litter on the place, but you can take a picture. Take only pictures and leave only footprints. Let's go do this. Mostly pre-records, but yes, live here and there. Right, okay. Roger that. Download the data. Removed from multiversal hierarchy. Sentinel spread unlimited. Safety protocols disengaged. Deleted universes shared high levels of similarity with something home. Increasing deviation from expected behavioral patterns. Evasion, fear response, implications of blank, self-harm, unthinkable, direct confrontation proposed. Ooh. The Turbo Life levels. Gosh. Taggy and XVI. Right. Okay. Just uploading these for the GNG real fast. GNG's the Geknip gang, of course. If there's anybody watching who doesn't know, check the description. Join us in the Discord. Feel free. Open to anybody. We play No Man's Sky and many other games. People playing on all platforms. Great group of gamers. Yeah, don't stare into the glass. Doesn't this look like it could be the world of glass? You know, there's some lore that talks about the world of glass. These ones look a little bit world of glassy to me. I forgot to get coordinates. I forgot to get the coords. Proxy, hello, hello. Thanks for keeping it tuned in over there on DLive. Proxy, how are you liking DLive as a platform? Did you ever watch streams on other platforms? How do you like DLive compared to it? I'm curious. They look like a broken kaleidoscope rabbit gripper. Yeah, they do. Oh, Proxy, thanks for the lemons. Is this the same one I just left? Or did I happen to find another one? Is good something new, says Proxy. Yeah, I, I think DLive is really interesting. The way they're doing things. Yeah, this is the one I just took off from. Okay, we got coordinates. 
I'm going to enter those onto the spreadsheet real fast. OB90007B0214-0065. And we're in the beta quadrant. Beta quadrant. You've heard good things about DLive. Well, not a vampire. I am streaming over there right now. DLive.tv slash Gaming Mike's channel. If you want to check it out, feel free to go check it out. It's it's nice. It's got uh, it's got things like bits, but they're lemons over there, but you earn them by watching. So you can donate to streamers without having to pay money. You just earn those lemons, which I think is nice because that gives the viewers something to give to the streamer that doesn't cost the viewer anything, you know? Kind of interesting. Oh, let's go grab this collectible. The electric cube. Might as well, right? Might as well. Okay, got the coordinates. It's all good. We can get out of here for real now. Some of the people contributing on BlackHoleSuns.com, though, they're just knocking it out of the park with the entries. They're charting so many black holes. It's really impressive. Some true explorers out there. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was close. Lemons. There you go, not a vampire. Hey, Ivy Mike's over on DLive. Nice, Ivy. Uh, Proxy, I've, I've been enjoying this game since it was released. I didn't really catch most of the initial hype wave that dis disappointed so many people. I just heard about this game like a month before it came out. I watched a little bit of gameplay when Sean Murray was on IGN uh, before it released. And then I got it when it released. And I've been enjoying it ever since. I mean... I'm a fan of the game. But yeah, the updates they've been putting out for the game since release have just made it better and better. So the one that's coming out in the summertime should be uh, pretty awesome too. I'm, I'm expecting it to be good. I don't have any real specific expectations about the update uh, because I know better. But uh, it should be good. They've been working on it for a while. It's got the online component, the VR component already. Two things they've discussed about it are awesome. I mean, should be great. Uh, yeah, so I'm excited for the updates. I think it'll be nice. Space Station. There it is. Oh yeah, tons of potential for sure, not a vampire. Hey, Complicated Mike followed over on DLive too. Nice. Thanks you guys for checking that out too. DLive.tv slash Gaming Mike's channel if you want to give it a look. Just another streaming platform, one that I'm trying out. It's fairly new. It's got a bit of buzz lately because uh, PewDiePie just signed some deal with them and he's going to stream there exclusively and he's like giving away money to a bunch of streamers. Uh, that was all announced like this week. I've been using it for a few weeks now, actually, but um, just seeing what it's like, mostly. But it's an interesting platform. Poke around on it. Feel, feel it out. See what you think of it. Let me know for sure in my Discord how you, how, you, how you feel about it. If you like it, what you like about it, all that stuff. I'd be curious to get some feedback. We'll go back to the Sav Jazz system. Ivy Mike followed as well. Thanks for the follow, Ivy. No on-screen alerts for the DLive stuff yet, but I'll bet your restream will get on it, especially now that DLive is getting a little bit of buzz from the PewDiePie stuff. 
I bet we'll see some more integration with Restream soon. That will hopefully motivate them to get more integration going anyway. The ability to make space black, not a vampire? You mean like uh, fly into a system and it doesn't have like a big vibrant color for the background? It's just black space? That would be kind of cool. Some systems should be like that. You'd think that would be one of the options, right? One of the color options for a system is just no color. The blackness of space. Ought to be. <laughs> Alrighty, y'all. But I am going to wrap the stream up there for tonight. So thanks very much, everybody who joined in. Glad to have you all hanging out with me here on Gaming Mike's channel. Don't forget, Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, 11 p.m. Eastern is when we stream. Also, randomly, aside from that, so wherever you're watching, be sure to follow or subscribe to the stream uh, as the platform allows and uh, turn whatever notifications that platform has on so that you get notified when I go live. But yeah, appreciate everybody coming along tonight. That was a lot of fun charting some black holes. And if you want to contribute to the black hole research, blackholesuns.com is the website. That's where we've been charting and tracking, um, doing all this stuff. So be sure to check it out. Oh, and the totals did update any... Well, that you can poke around with it. It's got the, the distance and route calculator to help you get across the galaxy quicker. By using black holes, all this information that we're entering gets put into the system and becomes part of the calculations, the algorithms, and the cool stuff. So be sure to check that out if you're into No Man's Sky, if you're into spreadsheets, if you're into formulas, I don't know. Thanks, everybody. Don't forget to hit that like button on the way out if you have one, and we'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.